Hello Commanders, Commander Plater here. Today I have an Elite Dangerous Empire Ranking Guide, a little place where you can grind out to make everything a little bit easier for you. So, first of all you want to get yourself down to the Shu Bubasi system. I'll show them showing the map a little bit later on and also in the description it will tell you how it's spelt. Um, at the moment I'm currently sitting on 45% rank of Knight um, and essentially we're going to do some mi mission stacking. It's a pretty standard process. Um, if you haven't seen it before or know what things are, um, I'm going to talk you through kind of mission uh, stacking and then the board hopping as well. Now, I'm not a big fan of board hopping because considering I kind of think it is a bit of a game breaking hack, in my opinion, it really breaks the immersion, and I'm a big fan of that. But anyway, on with the guide. So you go into the mission board and you look at the different factions that you have available there. Now, as you can see here, um, we're looking for any of the Empire factions, so there's a little Empire symbol next to them. Now, you're going to pick up as many of these boom data delivery missions to the same system as possible. Now, I have been doing this for a few days now and I have made probably about 60 million credits in the process as well, so it's been pretty good. Now. Um, I started off and I was only at the rank of Master, I think it was, so I have been through a couple of ranks already. So, um, getting on, you, you load up, um, you select all the missions. Now, they don't require any, and this is no space whatsoever um, in cargo, so you can literally do this straight off the bat. Now, as you can see, I'm actually ranked up to Allied with them already because I've been doing the missions um, so much. So that's something to bear in mind that when you first start off, you're not going to be making the same amount of money when you're doing it, but you're going to be going up in rank quicker. So that's it's, it's a trade-off. It's worth bearing in mind. Now, as you do this, um, I'm picking the highest value missions that I can that are there. So 136,000 over, this, like, say, one for 27,000. Now that makes a difference because you can only carry so many different missions um, before it tells you that you can't carry any more. Now, as you're selecting them, do be picky, do be careful, and also let's see what the rewards are as well. So it's worth bearing in mind that as you pick up rewards and you get commodities as well for it, that you are going to have to um, fight off some, some pirates as well. So, board hopping. Board hopping is simply where you log out, you go to the main menu, and you switch game mode. So if you're in solo, you go to open play. If you're in open play, you go to solo, and, and back and forth, until you fill up your actual mission quota. Um, there are different ways of doing it, I guess. I mean, there are lots and lots of different missions here. Um, so, for example, in the target system, there was actually a conflict on there as well. So you could potentially rank up with with the um, factions that way by stacking the combat missions, uh, which is you, know, you get rewarded twice for killing the same number of people, which is pretty handy. So, all in all, it takes a bit of a while, so I'll get on and time lapse this. Okay, so once you've got the full set of missions, you'll get a pop-up come up, and it will tell you that you have too many open missions. Um, once you've done that, it's time to head off. I do recommend that you go into solo play when you do this, because they are very, very small targets um, that you're going for, um, very small kind of like stations, so they do only have two large landing pads. Um, if you're in something like a Sidewinder, Diamond Black Explorer, an Asp even, you should be okay. Um, but I'm in a Corvette, so it's certainly going to take me a while. Um, but on with the journey.
Okay, now obviously I didn't tell you guys which station your, your target is because the missions do that for you. It is only one jump away and it is planetary to planetary, so please bear that in mind. And you will have to align your your drop-ins to the right kind of um, alignment and all that kind of stuff. So when you do come into planets, you become super efficient at doing the um, the actual landings. Now this only took me 20 minutes um, to, to kind of load up on missions from the beginning to get to the target system. Now I started off on 197 million credits as you can see there um, and it quickly quickly racks up the amount of money in there. Um, you're talking about maybe 20 missions you've got in there, each one worth 120 to 100,000. Um, you know you're gonna get an extra million in there as quick as possible plus the whole reason you're doing this is to rank up with the Empire. Now if you remember I was at 45% beforehand, um, handing in the missions um, isn't too much of a big deal as you can see, it doesn't take very long at all, just maybe a minute or two. Now um, this is a great safe way to make money as well, um, the courier missions and the boom data deliveries are so easy. Now it is worth remembering, nothing is fixed in Elite Dangerous, so get it whilst you can, head on down to Shubabasi uh, and basically get those missions, get them done. Um, you do have a chance to rank up with the um, the Ellie Coco Purple Mafia, and if you're into smuggling, they're going to have some really, really good ones. They're going to have some really look good long-range smuggling missions for big money there. So as you can see, I'm now night 65%, so that's a 20% rank up for one run for 20 minutes work. Plus, I've made um, you know over a million credits there. So it's well worth it. It's easy money, easy ranking at the moment. That can change. Uh, it's worth pointing out the current, well, the system was in Civil War as well, um, but now that's actually finished, so they've kind of got a ceasefire going on. Now, things you do really need to bear in mind with this is that you do stand a chance of being interdicted. There is potential as well to pick up more missions um, over at the, there's like a, a Matthews mining post in Shububasi as well. I've not gone there because in a Corvette it only has uh, small and medium landing pads. So, if in case you're wondering where Shububasi is uh, in, in the system, it's at the very, very bottom of the bubble, um, right down here, um, maybe kind of, I don't know, a couple of, couple of hundred light years from the top to the bottom, um, but it is an empire system, um, the main faction um, is, is the empire, or the controlling faction, the typically empire, especially in those two systems there. There's also a Coriolis starport fairly nearby as well, so if you want to rank up, um, you can do it there too. So guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like the video if you like this kind of stuff, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys out there. Take care.